Hey guys, and welcome again to this edition of Learning with Rich. Okay, so let's try to continue our discussion in Navisworks. Okay, so this time we're going to learn how to use or uh, explore the quantification in Navisworks Manage. Okay, the quantification tool in Navisworks can be found on the tools panel. You can see here the quantification. Okay. So this is the tool that uh, we will be using. So the process, the process of measuring quantities of materials from models, drawings, and specifications prepared, let's say, for example, by the architects, engineers, and other designers is known as takeoff. Okay, so here in uh, Autodesk uh, Navisworks, takeoff is carried out using the quantification feature. All right, so the quantification uh, helps you to automatically make material estimates, measure areas, and count building components, okay? So you can also uh, estimate construction and renovation projects. So you spend less time counting and measuring and more time analyzing the projects, okay? And by the way, our quantification feature is only available in Navisworks Manage, which is what we are using, and Navisworks Simulate, all right? So, uh, quantification is not available in uh, Navisworks Freedom, all right? So, let's get started. So, let us open our sample Navisworks uh, project, okay? It's up to you. You can open any Navisworks project. So, I'm going to open mine, okay? All right. So, this is now the model. And then, after that, let me just open the quantification tool here okay so it's now here on below here let me just close the sheet browser and then the hide the selection tree okay so this is our quantification workbook okay this is actually the main workspace that contains the object data for the uh, take ops you create in project okay so if you're going to select this one project setup Okay, would you like to view quantification getting started tutorials now? So I don't want to see that. So this is already tutorial that you're watch, uh, watching. So I'm going to select remind me later. All right, so this is now the quantification setup wizard. So first things first, so you need to select a catalog to organize your takeoff project. Okay, so you have uh, three catalogs here, CSI 16 and 48 and uniformat. So... You can also select a catalog here if you have. Okay, so these are our resource uh, catalog to for successful completion of a project related by function and type, including materials, equipment, or tools. Okay, for this one, I'm just going to select none. So let me try to use none. And then after that, I'm going to select uh, next. Okay, so let me use metric. Okay, so for the measurement units, so metrics, right, next. All right, so I'm going to use all of these properties, leave it all check, and then I'm going to select next and finish. All right. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, I've been having a bad weather for the past uh, three days, four days. Okay, I've been having a cold and flu, but it's okay. All right, now, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select my selection tree. This is our project. So I'm going to right-click this, and then you can now see here the new option, uh, quantification. So I'm going to select uh, take off the new catalog item. So I'm going to select this one. And it will take a couple of minutes or a time or a second, depending on your machine, okay? So, all right, there you go. There you have it. So as you can see from your quantification workbook here, so if you are going to select your casework you can see here the ceiling trims and also the number click that one 
okay so you have nine so you let me just click outside to deselect okay so if you click this one okay right so you can these are the options that you can use here on our uh, quantification workbook okay so you can use any navis work project that you have or let's say for example you already have the the Revit model you can open it here in navis works and then you can save it as your <coughs> uh, nwd file okay right okay so one cool about this one so let's say for example uh you want to export this report okay this report in uh excel let's say for example you're using excel and then you want to export this uh quantification so what you can do is you can go here okay you can click the drop down arrow and then you can export that so let's say i'm going to select uh, export quantities to excel okay all right, let me just save it here. Let me just operate the old one. I'm just going to save it. Yes. Okay. So this could take a second or minutes to export it. So Navis works. Uh, after this one, it will ask you to, if you want to open the Excel file, okay, we might as well, uh, let's click yes after it asks. Uh, after it has us okay so we just need to wait until it uh, finishes exporting our file <clears throat> all right so let us just wait okay and just a little bit about the quantification it supports integration of three-dimensional and two-dimensional design data so you can combine multiple source files and generate quantity takeoff okay so take off an entire building just like what we did and you can create a synchronized project views that combine information from uh, BIM tools such as our Revit and AutoCAD software together with the geometry images and data from other tools okay so Oh, this is what I'm talking about. So after you export the file to Excel, it will ask, uh, ask to open it. So I'm going to select yes. Okay. So here is a big uh, pile of data. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about. So this is actually the format that you have in uh, Navisworks. Okay. All right. So as you can see, you can click the drop down arrow here. Okay. You can just uh, explore this one okay you can explore this one <clears throat> okay so this uh report that we have here in excel okay you can pull this information into other estimating softwares for use for your estimate okay so as you can see you also have different tabs here resources resources pivot table items row okay such things okay and then you also have the here the pivot uh table fields that you can modify you can check or uncheck okay so this is actually all the data okay okay so there's a lot of information from that particular model okay that will actually helps you now if we are going back to our uh, Navis works, okay, so you can scroll down from the bottom, okay, so again, you can explore these options here, okay, so these are the families that you get from your model, okay, and also if you are going to zoom in, okay, if you are going to zoom in, okay, now we can see what color gets assigned to what uh, to what object. You see, there's actually a color in our model here. So we can see exactly that they are being taken off. Okay, so you can change this color. You can move items around, and this takes uh, some setup. And you'll see also some uh, calculations in this one. 
Alright? Okay, so let us try to uh, explore this one. Analysis. This is the export in case you want to update. Okay? Alright? So basically, this is how you use your quantification. So you can export it to your Excel file and then from the Excel file, you can use this Excel file to pull out the information to other uh, estimating software. Okay? Right. Okay? So that's it for our quantification. So hopefully you learned something from this video. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can uh, put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right? So once again, this is Rich. Have a nice day.